Yo, what's going on YouTube? Real quick, because I know a number of you are curious, I will be back home by the 4th of July, so starting the 4th of July, I'll be back with doing regular how to draw videos as well as other sneaker drawing videos and such, and for the first video that I'm going to do, because I had a lot of comments requesting it in the past, is going to be the Steph Curry 5. And if you guys saw yesterday's video where I kind of went over the site and everything that's going on with it and the updates that I did with it, you're going to know that with every video that you keep track of on this channel, you're going to know which stencils are new and which ones are not. For the most part, I'm going to try to make them all new just so that way the site fills up a lot faster and like I also mentioned yesterday if you're going on any of the links that I have for any of my older videos you're gonna notice that the links don't exactly work it should take you to the website but it's gonna take you to a page that doesn't exist because well technically none of those pages exist anymore because I kind of switched everything around added a bunch of new tabs and stuff none of those links work but that means I'm gonna have to go back and update them but if you just go on the website everything that I have up to date is there so go ahead and check it out that being said aside from any new stencils that I'm gonna go ahead and do there's also a bunch of other stencils that I have to update to the site for videos that I already did like I think there's a total of 17 videos that I have that I don't have stencils for on the site so I'm gonna be kind of busting those out along the way of doing the videos in which case of course whenever I go ahead and I add a new stencil to the site I'll mention it in the video just so that way you guys are up to date with it as well now that the website is all cleaned up I'm really excited to see it just get filled up with all these stencils especially that Kobe page the Kobe page only has two and Kobe's got a long history of sneakers as well as I guess Kevin Durant he is is on his 10th or 11th sneaker now so I might have to make a new tap for him but as I'm kind of working out the kinks you guys are gonna know and like I mentioned as well yesterday everything is a lot cleaner now everything's a lot more cohesive it just makes sense it looks a lot better so no matter what I do it's gonna be easy to find whatever you need now the website and the channel should pretty much go hand to hand because if I'm doing a video on a new sneaker or a new version of a sneaker like a new view or something it's gonna be updated to the website so that way you guys have that stencil and then if I'm ever doing like a digital illustration I want to get to a point where I have a bunch of prints available on the website as well because I work at a UPS store and I have a bunch of different resources that I have so I want to try to be able to get into prints and stuff because that's one of the things that I like as well and if you remember back when I had prints available there was only a few I think there was only like three of them and I've done a lot more digital illustrations since then so obviously there's gonna be more options but the other thing too is that I only had one size available I only had the eight and a half by eleven which is cool, but like if you're trying to get a poster, most people don't get posters that are that size. So that's one thing I kind of figure out. So when I go ahead and I update the tab so that way it has all the different prints and stuff available on the site, it's going to have a lot of different options for posters and it's going to be pretty big size too. So if you want a two by three foot poster, that's going to be available for show. But the whole point of the website is to fill it up with stencils, so I'm not really going to worry about merch too much at first. I kind of integrate that when the time comes. But another thing I want to do is, and I think this might make the most sense, the starting page that you go on when you go on kickstart.com, I'm probably going to have like a banner on there or something kind of introducing the site, as well as I'm probably going to have a section where it has all my most recent stencils or updated stencils available. To be honest, I don't even know how I would do that, although I don't think it would be too hard. So let's say like I add like a brand new shoe or whatever, I'm sure I can copy that same information and then just add it over to the front page. And then as long as I orientate it in the way where it comes by oldest and newest, you'll have everything that you need. That way you don't have to keep up with the channel and watch every single video and listen to every second of me talking to see if I updated a new site with a new stencil. You can just go on the front page and then bam, if it's new, you'll see it's the first one there. I've also been kind of teasing here and there about some other stuff that I was going to add to the site. One thing that I'm trying to do that I'm trying to at least figure out uh, in a way that makes the most sense is because obviously the videos on my channel that are the most relevant and that they are most popular are the how to draw videos. So what I want to do is I want to have like sheets where it's like a quick four step process showing how to draw a sneaker so like the first step would be really easy second step would add more detail so on and so forth and i can have that four step whatever process picture right on top of the corresponding video for that particular sneaker just so that way you have both ways of getting the same information so that way you can pick whichever way you want again everything that i'm trying to do is just to make it as much convenience for you as i can as possible and the beauty of it is that now that the site is pretty much organized everything is clean i have all the templates for everything that i need i know exactly how i'm going to upload stuff now it should be pretty easy from now on to add whatever I need to add and if there's ever any big changes or any new tabs or whatever that I'm gonna add obviously I'm gonna mention in the video so always keep track of that as well as for the channel side of kickstart what I want to really focus on is just kind of make sure that my process is a lot better I want to improve as an artist the digital illustrations are pretty good but I gotta get back into the swing of things of making the how to draw videos sneaker drawing videos stuff like that and obviously I wouldn't be able to do that right now I have to wait till I get back home but when I get back home I really just want to improve as an artist 
and that's going to allow you guys to have really good content as well and I also want to get back into kind of explaining the things that I do when I do it. With these digital illustrations it's not as useful because you can kind of see what I'm doing and not everybody has Adobe Illustrator but when it comes to the drawing that's so fundamental it's so easy. Uh, when I go ahead and I do these how to draw videos or whatever I'm also going to have a little section where I kind of talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And then of course the live streams are really fun. I could see myself getting to a point where in the future I can like live stream every time I actually draw or make a video or whatever so that way you have that as content that you can consume as well or if you just want to see the time-lapse videos you can go ahead and look at that as well now ever since I incorporated audio into the videos you notice I've been talking a lot about basketball basketball is by far my favorite sport I love talking about it I love watching it the NBA to me is just awesome and I never want this channel to stray away from being art because the name of the channel is kicks art I mean come on we got to stay with the art for show but I do want to keep up with the NBA and all its news now when it gets to like the regular season I'm not really really trying to go and give you guys the scores for every game and stuff like that but if there's ever any interesting news or anything I found interesting related to basketball I want to talk about that in the videos so what you can kind of expect from any future content is a mixture between art talk and basketball talk in pretty much every video and I do have a lot of other interests besides basketball art and sneakers but I feel like a lot of that content wouldn't be appropriate for this channel like for example I love movies I love talking about movies like but guys I'm serious like legit whenever there's like a new big blockbuster movie coming out I get tickets to see it opening night and to go a step further I save all my movie ticket stubs and I've been doing that for like the past two or three years so I have like almost 30 different movie ticket stubs like opening night movie ticket stubs I'm a weirdo I know I get it but I would love to make content reviewing movies and talking about spoilers and fan theories and all the other kind of stuff but it just really wouldn't fit with this channel so in the future once I really have the formula for this channel down packed I would make a second channel that channel would be more specifically about me and everything that I like that doesn't necessarily have to do with basketball shoes and art of course I would still have a lot of conversations about art and stuff like that because I am an artist a lot of the stuff that I like to do is creative in some way or another so you know of course I would want to have like tutorials and different stuff like that but I want to make sure that all that stuff doesn't relate to what I'm doing here on Kickstart so that way the two channels are kind of different but as always with any news related to the channel or anything new that I'm going to do I'm going to keep you guys posted on this channel so that way you guys are up to date with everything about me and what I'm doing but that pretty much wraps it up for today's video and real quick just to kind of talk about the drawing um the little penny posit I think it's a dope sneaker it kind of looks like a sneaker that's like 20 years ahead of its time it looks like a futuristic kind of boot kind of thing I think it's dope and it comes out really clean looking whenever I do the digital illustrations so overall I just think it's an awesome shoe this is actually one of the first shoes that I did when I started the channel if you go back way to the beginnings of the channel I did a version of the Orlando colorway for this sneaker so go ahead and check that out but thank you guys so much for watching if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell for post notifications even though for the most part it doesn't really work nowadays everybody take care and I will see you guys tomorrow peace